Welcome back to Rick Lance's Talk. The title of the talk today is In or Out. John 14, 6, which is uh, a powerful passage in the Gospel of John, Jesus says the following, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. He's saying no one can have a relationship with his heavenly Father, the God that made us, the God that loved us, the God that created us, except through Christ. That's it. You say, well, that's too narrow. Listen, I don't think we've got the option to call the shots on this one. He said, I am the way. You say, that's too narrow. It is narrow. There's one way, not many ways. So millions of men and women in America do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Some of them are your friends, your co-workers, your children, your grandchildren, your neighbors, people in your clubs. Do you care? Do you care that, that if they don't have a relationship with him, it ain't going to be good in the end? So in Romans 3.23, the scripture says, For all of sin that comes short of the glory of God. In other words, we've got a sin problem. Everybody on the planet is a sinner. We sin because we're sinners. The scripture says in Romans 6.23, the very uh, first part of that verse, that, that there's the wages of sin or death. There's a penalty because of sin that I owe a holy God. I've offended him. The scripture says back in Romans chapter number 5, and oh, this is one of my favorites. When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners at just the right time. He didn't come to die for good people. Ain't no good people. He came to die for sinners. So if you flip back to the Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 12, the scripture says, But all who received him, to they, they may gave the right to become a child of God. Have you received Christ? The scripture says in John 3, 36, all who, oh, this is a strong one. It says, and all who believe in God's son have eternal life. Those who don't come to Christ, don't obey the son, will never experience eternal life, but the anger of God remains upon them. If we don't know Christ, if he is not in us, the anger is already on us. If we reject him, the anger or the, the wrath of God, the displeasure of God, it's already on us. It continues to stay on us. The only way that takes that anger and wrath away is when we come to know Christ who died on that cross to satisfy what a holy God expects, the forgiveness that only he can give. Have you received him? Is Jesus Christ in your life? Listen, everyone's going to live forever, either with God or without him. That's what the scripture says. Have you received Christ? Is he in your life? Is he in or out? How about your friends? Do you care? Do you care what happens to them? Because they're either going to live with God or without him. So, there you go.